guys so today's video is going to be another birch box unboxing this is for the july birch box which i got at the beginning of july this is like out of all the boxes that i've gotten so far only two have come like at the beginning of the month at like a reasonable time but i decided to save the box and wait to open it because this video is actually pre-filmed when you guys are watching this i'm actually going to be down the shore on a vacation a very much needed vacation and i pre-filmed some videos for you guys so i decided to wait and open it and i'm really excited to open it okay so it says hello world let's do this this month is about the things that get you up and at them Fittingly, we are spotlighting the products our subscribers say they won't leave the house without. Mascara. We hope our new mascara helps you face the day a little bit more bright-eyed. Show us your AM routine with hashtag beauty and breakfast. So, oh, it's a decent size mascara. Okay, but I guess I'll go and order. Ooh, I don't know what the ham is. Ooh. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I'm getting all excited. So the first thing is Catherine melandrino style de paris full size of 65 to 110 dollars the designer's dreamy ultra wearable scent mingles summery fruits and floors florals for an elegant vibe okay so after the last perfume sample i tried i'm a little scared to try this one but maybe it'll be nice not that i would like go out and buy this perfume especially because it's so expensive but we'll see It's not horrible, like I'm not going to throw up like I did last time, but it's definitely not something I would wear. This is like something like, I don't know, a little bit mature for me, but it's not bad. Okay, the next thing I'm like super excited about, this is the Kula SPF 30 Organic Makeup Setting Spray. Full size is $36. It's weightless with a matte finished mist that sets your look hydrates your skin and blocks uv rays so i'm super excited about this because i'm filming this before we go to the beach but i'm actually going to the beach in three or four days um and i'm really excited to try this while i'm at the beach the whole matte thing i'm kind of worried about because i don't really want a matte looking face in the summer but i really don't think it'll be that matte if i'm in the sun and kind of sweaty and hot all day anyway but I'm actually really excited. It says green tea and aloe. Broad spectrum SPF 30 organic sun care plus hyaluronic acid. Makeup setting spray. Makeup meltdown and UV exposure have met their match. Introducing the first 70% plus certified organic SPF 30 makeup setting spray from Kula. I'm actually like really excited to try that. Okay. The next thing is the Dr. Brandt Pore Dermabrasion. Full size is $58.00. A boost of salicylic acid unclogs pores, caviar, lime brightens, and lentil seeds strengthens and tightens pore walls. Tip, use one to two times a week. Dr. Brandt Pore Dermabrasion Pore Perfecting Exfoliator. Helps refine the appearance of pores, deep cleans pores, helps soothe the appearance of skin texture. Cool. So I'll definitely use this, you know, use this up as a small face wash since this one is smaller i probably won't use it as much as like a normal face wash but i'll definitely get some use out of this i'm excited about it okay the next thing is i keep getting the paper stuck lock or loc ultra gloss lip pencil in the color punchline full size is 12 dollars from the birchbox brand a hydrating lasting and glossy lip pencil in a sheer watermelon pink that flatters everyone it, it is definitely like a glossier finish which is nice for like the summertime and stuff like that and it's a really pretty pink so i feel like i would use this too use especially at the beach i'm kind of like excited for this right now okay and the last thing is the marcel extension plus curl mascara the full size is 14 dollars this boundary pushing hypoallergenic mascara grabs and curls even the smallest of lashes for a doe-eyed look tip curve the brush downwards then upwards to get the roots okay i actually want to try this right now because i'm not loving my makeup right now it's like 10 o'clock at night and most of my makeup came off and i'm starting not to feel the greatest so when i feel like i don't look good usually i'll just do my face makeup but as long as i have on some brows and mascara if my eyelashes look amazing 
I feel like I never have to do anything else. I have on right now two coats of the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, but by the end of the day, it does fall. Like, it's not gonna stay perfect. And ignore my eyebrows right now, I'm getting them done tomorrow. You know, like when you go away and you wait till the last possible second to get things done so that it lasts you? Yep, that's me. Getting waxed tomorrow, getting a pedicure and manicure, a little fill in on Saturday, literally doing laundry. I can pack last minute. I think the only thing I'm doing kind of early are these videos. <laughs> Alright, so I'm only going to do one eye. I feel like if I didn't have anything on this eye, it might have gone on a little bit better. I'm not like a huge fan of this. But maybe it was because I had another mascara on underneath. I don't like clumps. That's really going to bother me if I don't unclump that. I'm not a huge fan. It seems kind of clumpy, but that could be because I have another mascara on underneath it. But overall, this was a good box. Nothing like I was like, oh, about, but it seems pretty good. And I'm excited to try out this like glossy lip pencil and the setting spray when I'm at the beach. Because that seems like more summer related stuff. I'm actually going to leave them out so I remember to pack them. Um, but yeah, I really like this box. And I just think that this box, like, itself is, like, really cute. Um, I'm actually, I'm going to keep this one. I know I wasn't going to keep all of them, but I'm going to keep that one because it looks cute in my room with all, like, the pink and, like, the pop of colors and stuff. Um, I'm not sure how many more boxes I have left, um, but I'm just going to keep going until I get them. And I think, I've been getting emails every month, so I think they'll email me when it's my last box. I don't think I'm going to like continue with Birch Box though just because I know it's not even that expensive but just for like money purposes. It was really nice to get it as a gift and maybe like my, if I like it and I tell my aunt I liked it she might get it for me again for Christmas or something but it's definitely not something that I would go out of my way and repurchase. Um, I was thinking about trying other you know monthly like subscription boxes. I really want to try the Meow Box because my cat but yeah we'll see um but yeah thank you guys i know this was like a little bit of a shorter video but thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you all in my next video bye put your party dress on standing in the mirror with the girls <laughs>